So you've seen John Wick Chapter 4. It's another wild ride in the John Wick saga, and for some folks, it feels like the end of the line. But hey, don't hang up your guns just yet. Sure, the movie kind of wrapped things up neatly, but there's still hope for a fifth installment. The John Wick series has a special place in fans' hearts, delivering that classic gritty action we love. And with spin-offs popping up left and right, who knows what's next? So keep those trigger fingers crossed, because the John Wick story's far from over. Director Oliver Stone has been quite vocal about his criticisms of Hollywood's reliance on blockbuster hits like Barbie and John Wick, pointing out what he sees as fundamental flaws in modern cinema. In the closing scenes of John Wick Chapter 4, our beloved protagonist, played by Keanu Reeves, appears to meet his demise after enduring a brutal series of battles. With John Wick seemingly laid to rest and mourned by his old pals Winston and the Bowery King, the prospect of Chapter 5 seems, well, perplexing to say the least. After all, how can you have a movie with a dead hero? One way to approach this conundrum would be to set the fifth installment after the events of Chapter 4, focusing on how Winston and the Bowery King navigate the aftermath of John's demise. Alternatively, the film could delve into John's past, offering viewers a glimpse into his life before the series began through a series of flashbacks, with Keanu Reeves reprising his role in action-packed sequences. By focusing on John Wick's past and the aftermath of his supposed demise, the fifth installment could indeed offer a fresh perspective, allowing for more intense action sequences that might not fit the characters of Winston and the Bowery King. It could serve as a fitting conclusion to John Wick's legendary tale while breaking away from the familiar structure of previous films. However, some fans might view this approach as a bit of a cheat or an artificial attempt to prolong the franchise's story. They may argue that a more authentic send-off to John Wick would be to reveal that he's actually still alive. Ironically, bringing John Wick back from the dead could provide a more natural and satisfying conclusion, allowing the series to come full circle. It would be a twist that subverts expectations while honoring the character's resilience and indomitable spirit. According to Chapter 4 director Chad Stahelski, both he and the star Keanu Reeves are content with how the latest installment in the neo-noir action series concluded. Interestingly, despite the scene where Winston and the Bowery King visit what appears to be John's grave at the end of Chapter 4, we never actually see his dead body. Sure, he collapses after his intense battle with Kane and the Marquis, but that's not necessarily a confirmation of his demise. And let's not forget the cryptic exchange between the Bowery King and Winston about whether John went to heaven or hell, with Winston's smirk suggesting there's more to the story. All these hints and nuances suggest that perhaps John Wick isn't as dead as we might think. It's entirely plausible that he faked his death and started afresh, cutting ties with his assassin past to find the peace his late wife desired for him. Remember when he tells Winston to take him home after the fight? Maybe he meant returning to his roots in Belarus. The flaw in this theory lies in the fact that John had already liberated himself from the clutches of the high table by the end of Chapter 4, rendering any need for him to fake his own death unnecessary. He had finally achieved the peace he longed for, making the notion of thrusting him back into the chaos associated with the high table feel contrived and lacking in narrative satisfaction. Returning John to the fray would not only feel like an artificial prolongation of the story, but could also potentially diminish the impact and quality of the fourth film. Any attempt to justify his return in a potential Chapter 5 would require substantial effort, akin to the struggles faced by the protagonist himself to maintain the integrity and coherence of the narrative. Therefore, while the possibility of John Wick Chapter 5 looms on the horizon, the exact direction it will take and how it will utilize the series' central character remain uncertain. As of now, there is no official trailer or teaser for John Wick Chapter 5. With 4 being nearly a year old, fans are understandably eager for any news about the next installment. However, speculation about the plot has led to the circulation of several fake trailers across the internet. These unofficial trailers, 
featuring images of Keanu Reeves have fueled excitement among fans hungry for even the slightest hint about the plot of John Wick 5. Unfortunately, these trailers are entirely fabricated and do not provide any genuine insight into the direction of the series. The truth is, details about Chapter 5 remain scarce. Keanu Reeves and others involved with the franchise have remained tight-lipped and major production aspects such as photography have yet to begin. Therefore, fans will have to exercise patience and wait for official announcements to learn more about the next chapter in John Wick's saga. As we eagerly await the next installment, John Wick 5, it's clear that the universe of John Wick is expanding beyond just our titular protagonist. Director Chad Stahelski has hinted at the exciting stories to come in his two upcoming John Wick shows, highlighting the advantages of exploring them in TV and anime formats. While we anticipate how Chapter 5 will unfold, we've already witnessed the expansion of the John Wick universe with the release of The Continental from the world of John Wick in 2023. This TV series prequel delves into the earlier years of John's ally, Winston Scott, offering fans a deeper understanding of his character. And this is just the beginning. More spin-offs are in the works, with one of the most anticipated being the movie Ballerina. Confirmed to be set before John Wick Chapter 4, this film promises to explore new facets of the John Wick universe. Actor Ian McShane, who portrays Winston, has shed light on why Ballerina's status as a prequel is strategic. By keeping the potential plot of John Wick Chapter 5 under wraps, it maintains the element of surprise for fans, assuming the movie is greenlit. On the flip side, discussions about spin-offs centered around characters like the Bowery King might raise eyebrows, with some dismissing them as mere attempts to cash in on the franchise's success. However, there's a certain rationale behind these projects that shouldn't be overlooked. Well, that's it for today. What are your thoughts on the potential spin-offs and tie-ins for the John Wick franchise? Which character would you most like to see explored in their own story? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on all things John Wick. And remember to hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Until next time, stay sharp and keep those trigger fingers crossed for the next thrilling chapter in the John Wick saga. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.